So if you haven't noticed, electric vehicles are on the rise and they're expected to stay the course. I don't know, maybe you're uh, considering getting into an EV, but I know I am. This isn't an EV and it gets about 20 to 30 miles to the gallon, which you know, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. In addition to the environmental aspects, I'm looking forward to getting into an EV and putting an end to paying those extremely high gas prices. Of course, I would expect to pay a higher electricity bill. In fact, it's estimated to go up about $60 a month. But compared to how many times I fill this thing up every month, it's a significant savings. From what I've heard, on an average, a level two EV charger uses 7.2 kilowatts of electricity and an average EV driver uses about 408 kilowatt hours a month. So break that down. Right now, all electric vehicles have a rating of kilowatt hours divided by 100. So 408 kilowatt hours divided by 100, multiply that by your average electricity rate. We'll just use the US average of $14.19. And that gives us $57.89 a month. Now figure out how much fuel you use per month, and that's a huge savings. At least it is for me. Now imagine combining your EV charger with a grid tie solar system. That will substantially reduce your energy bill, without a doubt. And some auto manufacturers are making EVs that have reverse charging capabilities, which means you can use your car as a backup generator in the event of a power outage or a grid overload. I imagine as the amount of EVs being charged increases could result in more grid overloads. Anyway, I just wanted to share that bit of information with you because I was instantly intrigued and I thought maybe you would be too. With the ever increasing fuel prices, it might be time to see if an EV is right for you. And remember, if you add a solar system into the equation, you'll be reducing your energy bill as well. And you could really be living unbound something to think about anyway.